Oh, somebody's gonna ask me. There we go. Okay. Okay. Better do hello, 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 hello. I'm just gonna do a quick Instagram story. I just like somebody's post. I'm not sure what it was. Live stream happening right now. I'm gonna give away some lures at the end of it. So come hang out. It's on YouTube. What is shaking, everybody? How's it going? The anticipation is killing me. Clayton, there, go look at this. Bang! Hit right away. Question, super fast. I like how aggressive you are. I like it. I like the aggressiveness. Clayton, where do you think the walleye? Uh, do you think the walleye are this time of the year? They're on the move. They're on the move, probably closer to their spawning areas. They're moving around lots. They could be shallow. They could be deep. They could be kind of everywhere. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Honestly, the walleye can be literally anywhere right now. Literally, they're going to be coming out of the deep water though soon or more, more so the deeper water into the shallower stuff to feed to kind of get ready for their spawn. Like usually March is such, such a good month, such a good month. I better send my, it's not working for, bring your laptop here if it's not working, we'll get it working for you. Cindy said her laptop's not working, so. We'll get her. Maybe Carter can help her with it. It's okay. So she's not writing down names yet, but she will be soon. Hello, everybody. What is up? And yeah, whoever is coming from over from Tarot's chat, that was fun hanging out with Tarot for a little bit. He is so cool. He's so cool. Did Carter not try to help you? Yeah, it doesn't it's zoomed in on me. Everything's so large. I don't know what to do. Well, there you are. Look at as you're running down. Mm -hmm. No, like the whole. Okay. Yeah. Uh, your browser zoomed in really mm -hmm. large right I now. I hit something in there. Yeah, I don't know what you hit. Okay. Well, we got it over there at least. Is that better? Right? Mm -hmm. So at least now all the you can see all the names and comments. Is that good? Everybody's saying hi to you, so better say hi. Um, no, because they're all cut off. Where Where are they cut off? I don't think they are cut off, honey. Remember to be nice because she's watching me right now. I'll I don't think it's your browser. You have to restart your whole browser then. Give her a few minutes. Anyway, somebody says hit control. Hello. Yes. Yeah, so what Sandy's doing when she has a laptop, she doesn't really want to watch me that much at all, right? She. Would rather not be watching me, but she's writing names down to do the giveaways for anybody that's not part of it. So I'm doing four giveaways tonight at the end of the chat. And to be part of the giveaway, you just have to be here, ask some questions, share a little bit of your your day, your week, whatever, and then your name will be written down. And we'll do a random number generator. We got going away giving away this week is a Savage Gear eight inch line through one of my favorite pike baits. Some frostbite dragon slayers and a Lindy Glow Streak. So I've got I've got four packages like this basically to give away. So yes, anybody that says give me it now is not getting it. Yes, and if you won before, you can win again because it's a random number generator. And yes, so what's my biggest pike? Actually, through the ice, well, 46 inches, and through the open water, it's 47 inches. My that's my personal best. I've guided as big as 51 inches, though. I have one 51 incher in the boat. Clayton, how do I catch a bourbon? Well, to catch a bourbon, you probably are best to start, especially earlier in the year. Maybe now you can catch them more into the daytime, but you're best to kind of start into that, that dusk period. So, like, say get out to the lake at, like, 2, 3 o'clock at night or in the evening, sorry, get everything kind of set up. Burbot like to come out usually like right at that dusk period. They're a nocturnal feeder for the most part. So, and set up uh, some kind of like on a, a gravel bar in shallower water. When I say shallower, I mean like say 20 to 20 to 30 feet, something like that with deep water close by. That's my my best uh, advice for Burbot. doesn't mean it's the only way to catch them. I know there's people that catch them other ways, but it's pretty soon they're going to be spawning 
And during the spawn, they can be a little bit harder to catch because they're more busy about doing their, their spawn thing. But this pre-spawn time here in this March can be like really good. I know Diefenbaker is very good for burp at this time of the year. Clayton, is the Ion better than a Strike Master? Pros and cons. As I'm wearing an Ion hat, as I answer this question, right? Um, the Ion, okay, they're both great. They're both amazing augers, honestly. I had written a pro and con this here somewhere. I just can't find it. The Ion's lighter. The Ion cuts smoother. Those are the two biggest, uh, say, we'll do two pros for each. The Strike Master it cuts faster therefore uh the way that it cuts the ice you probably get more holes out of the strike master i'd say but it's a little bit heavier cons they're kind of reversed in that in that sense right like the, the strike master is a lot heavier i've been very happy with the ion this year i don't need to cut holes super fast like at the beginning of the year they all cut the same speed like 10 inches of ice 10 inches or 10 inches of ice versus eight inches of ice versus five inch ice they both go they both go through super quick when you get more like say right now i'm fishing like three feet of ice the ion takes a little bit more time to get through than the strike master would but uh it's it's just that much lighter to carry around it's that much easier in my mind i'm a huge fan of it i don't plan on going back to strike master next year at this point i plan on sticking with the ion i've been very happy with it that being said the strike master is a wonderful auger as well they're both they, they both got it figured out right now. The ion also reopens holes a lot easier. Okay, let's see. Another question. Let's see if I can just pause this for a question and find here. I lose so many giant pike. I lose so many giants pike fishing. Any tips on landing them and setting the hook? Okay, so pike fishing, especially if like a tip up where you're with your, your hand and your hand lining them, if you don't let that that line slip through your hand, you're going to end up pulling a lot of hooks like right out, right? Same thing with a rod. You want a, a rod that is got good action in terms of absorbing all the head shake, something that's not too stiff, if that makes sense. So just be really, really careful when it comes to like the bigger fish of when you're hand lining them, just to go a little bit easier on them. Don't yank super hard. If they start to pull, let them go because you will just pull hooks out like so easy. So the, the smaller fish, well, you just kind of pull them right up the hole, but the bigger fish, when you pull one way and they pull the other way, that hook's either going to straighten out or it's just going to get pulled right through their mouth. So just take your time a little bit more. Probably it would be my biggest advice I can give. I got a couple of super chats here. We'll hit real quick. Um, what should i use on a river for spawning trout abby unfortunately i don't know a lot of river fishing for trout i i wish i could help you with that question but i honestly can't i can't i honestly can't give you a proper answer for that i don't fish a lot of spawning trout especially on a river i wouldn't even know where to start I obviously, if it was something I would say super simple, probably like a, a nymph or something like that down low. And I'm the people, people who fly fish and do all the river fishing are going to go, you donkey, like, what are you talking about? But also something too, you can't go wrong with little blue fox spinners, something like that. Those are money. Uh, Joe Danner, thank you for the $5 donation. And then I hope, how, how do you pronounce this name? Ellen, Ellen R. Have you ever fished Bolton, Bolton Lake Lodge? I'll have a shot for you guys. I have not fished it, but I have a story about Bolton Lake. If you guys got a second here before I answer other questions, Bolton Lake Lodge, which is it's on God's God's Lake, right? So I was 19 years old, and I was looking for guiding jobs. Cheers to all you guys for the super chats. And um, I got a job at Bolton Lake Lodge, God's River, God's Lake type of thing, and. I was about four or five days from going and I also had applied at Wallison Lake Lodge where I am now. But at that point I never got hired at Wallison and then I got hired at Bolton. So that's where I was going five days before I was going to go or four days where I was going to go. Wallison called and they're like, we just had somebody, a guide quit. Do you still want to come up and guide this year? I'm like, what do I do? I'm like, I've already told us other lodge I'm going. And I asked Wallison, I'm like, what would you do? And they're like, don't repeat this. And the, the the guy that told me this isn't there anymore, so I don't feel bad for telling him. He's like, well, just tell him that you are you can't go up this summer and come guide for us. So it ended up being one of those things where I, I hate burning bridges and hate leaving somebody in that in that 
situation in that short time, but it was one of the best decisions I ever made. So I don't regret it at all, but I felt really bad about it for sure. Are they ever going to open the border? Oh, I missed our super chat. Sorry. Uh, Logan Nielsen. Thank you so, so much for the super chat. It's much appreciated. Cheers to you. Um, Jig and Amina. Jig and Amina. Jig and Amina. Somebody said that's greasy. And it is greasy. I'll talk about my hair. What was the first fish you ever caught that you can recall? That's a cool question. It probably would have been a walleye, I guess. I remember catching walleye all the time with dad uh, in, in his little misty river boat. We had a little, I don't know, like a 15, 16 foot tenor. And it would have been walleye for sure. My first memory of like something big was a carp out of Lake of the Prairies with my aunt and uncle. I would caught, we we're catching walleye and all of a sudden I had this fish just taking me for this wild ride and landed it. And it was like this 18 pound carp. It was like, it was like, oh, I just got this giant fish. I remember being on that ultimate high. And I look at that picture now and I go, oh boy, like how far things have come, right? So that's, I think a walleye though is honestly the first fish I do remember catching. There isn't something that super sticks out though, like my first, my first real memory in that sense though. Uh, let's see. What's your most devastating fish loss? Open, open water and ice. Wow. Marcus, cheers to you guys as well. Uh, yes, Jason, that hat is a flex fit. What's the hat or what's the, that's the hat? What's the most devastating fish? Um, ice fishing, probably would be when I first started to get into the, the bigger lake trout for ice fishing. Uh, I lost a lake trout at Baker's and Arrows. I remember getting wrapped in a camera cord and actually captured it all on film. That was probably the one I remember most, more than anything. Um, honestly, other than that, I've just learned to really shake off those situations fast. I'm not going to lie, I've lost big fish and all types of situations, but that one I remember probably the most, but I've learned to just shake them off. Honestly, just get back. Oh, it's like, those aren't, I've, it's good. Positivity, right? I focus more on the good things in life now instead of the negatives. Don't always focus on you know, the one that got away. I always tell that to new guides up at Wallace. I better take the shot here because we're probably getting edgy here. Sarah, anybody didn't miss the super chat, so I'll get back to there right away. Harley, and there was another one there. Chris Archer, loving his sweater, and the two kept me warm last night. We'll catch burbs. Awesome. Very, very welcome. Holy cow, another super chat. Give me one sec, because where was I? I always tell us new guides at Wollaston, don't come at the end of the day and to my room and tell me about your day and tell me about the guest that lost the biggest fish you've ever seen or the guest that missed the fish by the boat. I want to hear about your positive stuff, because if you go into the boat the next day, and that's the thing you're still thinking about and it's negative and you remind your guest about that, that's what they're going to remember their trip. Focus on the positive stuff. And that's kind of what I try to do in terms of fishing too. So I know I'm going way off topic here, but don't, if you are a guide, really tell you, don't focus on that part because you're going to end up giving your guests uh, a bad story when they go home instead. They're going to be more, they're going to tell their friends about, oh man, it's such a good trip. You should have seen this fish that got away instead of like this giant 39 inch pike they caught, right? Like there's so many different things I could go with that right now and I'm going to drop it, but because I'm rambling, but focus on the positivity. Chris, excited to get my new 185 tiller in the spring. What do you think of the captain's chair? I noticed you used one when you first bought the boat and switched to the regular pedestal. Chris, the captain's chair is awesome. I switched to the regular pedestal only because of filming aspects in the boat and more room. The captain's chair, super comfy. Like when I go on a trolling mission or you're gonna do any anchored fishing and like stuff like that for a while, the captain's chair is amazing. But I was using the pedestal when I was more mobile on the boat. So if you're gonna use something, if you're gonna be super mobile on the boat, the pedestal chair is probably the best bet. But if you're gonna use your, your boat more and you're gonna have, you're gonna be sitting lots, then the captain's chair. Um, I think I missed another super chat here at some point too, right there. T. Bel Belleric, do you plan on fishing Minnesota anytime soon? I don't, and for the most part, because of the border being closed, so it's pretty tough for me to go down and fish Minnesota. Um, 
and maybe I will at some point, but I just got so many opportunities in Saskatchewan and Manitoba and even Ontario to do some fishing. So I don't see it in the any, in the any near future, to be honest. Okay. I've rambled so much and I'm falling away from questions. I haven't been reading the chat that much. So somebody's making fun of me. Hey, I haven't even banned you yet. So we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, go to Lake for walleye in Saskatchewan. Rhett, honestly, there's I couldn't name just one. It would be all three. It would be Diefenbaker, Last Man, Tobin, not in any particular order at all. Any tips for big walleyes on Lake of the Prairies this time of year? Uh, set up somewhere just off of the river channel. They're going to be cruising to their spawning areas. So you honestly can't go wrong with like any, say, like 15 to 20 foot flat that's just off the river channel. I was seeing big walleyes even in three and a half feet of water when I was doing pike fishing there a couple weeks ago, right? Like I've been doing pike, some pike fishing too in the Fort Capel chain lakes, same thing in three and a half, five feet of water, seeing walleye up shallow. So they honestly could be anywhere, anywhere. There's one we got to get rid of there. You are gone forever. Well, see ya. I need to probably make some more mods in here to keep people, keep people in control. What's your biggest muskie? My biggest muskie is a 47 incher caught with Aaron and Jay while we were trolling, trolling out east. Yeah, I never did have a video from it. I got the only picture I have from it too is literally just a screen capture of no, it's a photo of a screen capture. It's like there was screen capture from a video and then it was like a photo of it. So it's all I have. It's still awesome though. Clayton, have you ever fished Lake Simcoe? I've never fished Lake Simcoe. No. The chat is moving way too fast. It is moving quick. It is. Uh, Marcus, 399, Super Chat, PB Wally, and sign me up for a giveaway. Well, I have a feeling because I'm talking about you right now, uh, Cindy's probably signing you up. No problem. You are in for the giveaway. Thank you. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Cheers to you. What do you use for pike? I'm giving one of them away today. I love the Savage Gear 8-inch line through trout. And some more of a slower plastic presentation right there. Little frostbite uh, dragon slayers. I'll be doing some more with those ones for pike this year. Can you do a tiger musky video? Pretty tough for me to do a tiger musky video because I don't have any tiger musky near me at all. Chris, buddy of mine had a wicked day today in Lake Winnipeg. 20, 29, 28, 27, three quarters on tiny year. That is amazing. What a great day. What a great day. Amazing. Amazing day. Put user in time out. We can do that. Cindy's fingers will be sore from writing. She came down last time with like 500 different names. So, so crazy. Clayton, really like your videos. What underwater camera would you recommend? My my favorite camera has honestly has been the AllView HD 7i Pro. If I had only have one of the underwater cameras, it would be that one. If you are going to move around lots, then I would say you get like the, the Micro Revolution. And if you want to go the Micro Revolution 5.0, and if you go 5.0 Pro, you can actually record on it. So those would be the two for sure, but the cameras, but the uh, the AquaView HD7 I Pro would be the one that I recommend. Rich B, what's your go-to rod and reel for pike open water? My biggest, uh, I'll get to another super chat there from from both from that one too. Will you be doing any videos with Aaron and Jay and will we be using the Hummingbird Live? I'm hoping to be using the Hummingbird Live. Yes, I want to get it as soon as I can and make as many videos with it as possible. And Aaron and Jay will be doing some videos together at some point as soon as COVID kind of allows us to do it. Okay, I missed another super chat. Where was it there? The Ron Reel. Um, I don't have the specs with me. But if you go to my pike videos from this, there should be some specs in there for the raw that I'm using. It's uh, my favorite one is an eight foot G uh, IMX Pro swim bait rod. And I think it is a medium, heavy, moderate, fast action, I believe. I don't have the actual number beside me and stuff like that, but that's been my favorite rod for it. And then my favorite reel has been the Tranks 300 for pike. That thing is a... It's a stud. It's been very, very good. Very good. Uh, Matthew Hawes can't watch today, but cheers. Cheers to you, Matthew, as well. I hope you got the, I guess, I know, I think I talked to you. You already got the tube jig and everything. So uh, I hope you get to put it to some use. I saw a question there I wanted to get to, but I thought I might have missed a, a super chat first. Yeah, right there from Nathan. Appreciate your content, Clay. 
How do you prevent condensation from building up in my tent while camping overnight? Hmm. A fan will help a little bit for sure. Pushing the, the, the hot air down. And then just a really good tent. I don't know what you're using, but I've been using the Otter tents for camping the last few years and I get like almost no condensation in my tents. It's been really well. So I think the fabric plays a huge role in it. Other than that, I don't know the honest answer to keep all the condensation away. I don't, but I know when it gets really cold, you're going to have more condensation in there, especially the hotter you get it in there. I'm trying to keep up. We have 483 people in here. And so far I've only been keeping up with everybody that's done super chats. I apologize. Danny Boyle, thank you very much for the $20. Jake G, thank you very much for the 99 cents. We'll have a, a shot there. The boys are buzzing. The boys are buzzing. I don't know. I've had some people that have messaged me and said that they can't do the super chat, the, no, super chats, the, the live chats anymore because there's too many people. And I don't know the honest answer for that. I thought about maybe running two different chats, having one that's like a, a membership one which I know is lame, but you just have like a smaller one in there that you have to pay a membership to get into it. And it's like a smaller crowd. And then the bigger ones like this, where it's a bunch of people and we just hang out and answer whatever questions I can. I noticed a bunch of questions that came up on the comments about uh, talking about this live chat. And I am going to probably, I not probably, I will be answering those questions too as well. Cheers. Another, it's, this is crazy. Cheers from Michigan, currently on vacation, doing a little ice fishing. Well, cheers to you. Savert, Savert, I hope I pronounced that name, and Barry, and, and Danny, and Jake, and there was another one right now too, Mitch, cheers to you, Clayton, love the content, and the one, when's the one, next one versus one versus Jay, we're, we're, we're talking about it at some point, we're, we really, really are, we're trying to figure it out, cheers to all of you, Michael, tip for Cindy, there you go, she'll be happy with that one. cheers to you guys i apologize for the people that i've missed the questions that i've been reading just the super chat ones i can't ignore the super chat ones i don't want to make it seem like that's the only way you can get a question answered so i really apologize i just saw about two dozen lakes trout the other day on my underwater camera but couldn't get a single one to bite any idea downsize and keep your bait still if they're if they're moving around lots but they're not interested in chasing your bait around or do, doing anything like that. Downsize, uh, even go to a, a smaller fluorocarbon line. Say if you're using like a 10 pound or a 20 pound, go to like a 15 or a 10 pound fluorocarbon line and just go really tiny, 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 and then dead stick it right in front of their face. That seems to work for me sometimes. Just don't move it. Sometimes even just laying it right, right on the bottom and keeping it tight to the bottom and maybe just like a little bit of belly meat on there or something like that and just put it on the bottom. There's so many different ways in that aspect to try to catch them uh, but at the same time lakers sometimes they're just not gonna bite period so i hope that helps a little bit but just downsize from whatever you're using if i don't if i get lakers that aren't as aggressive aggressive i just downsize i go from big tube jigs to spoons something like that and as the as the laker fishing picks up i'll go bigger baits what's your go-to lure on high pressure water uh on open water and hard ice okay clay it's a great question we're going to answer one of them because there's so many so my go-to lure on high pressured water would be a fly say if i'm i'm pike fishing especially i will try to use uh, a fly you believe wouldn't believe how many times that is the ticket something completely different than what everybody else is using and i have videos about that too uh, that's obviously just that's just when i talk to like pike fishing but walleye fishing a jig and a minna Got your primetime hoodie today and can't wait to wear it next week while I spend three three nights fishing Lake Winnipeg for full to on full tilt ice derby. Good luck, Austin, to you. I'm glad the hoodie fits and it's good. I've been very, very happy with the hoodies, the primetime hoodies. I'm actually out of them or almost out of them. I got like one or two of every size, except for extra large, I think. And I'm contemplating whether I should order more. I'm not sure if it's something that's going to be super or popular in the future. Cindy's working on some golf towels for us as well. We're trying to figure out a few more things in the future. Uh, PB walleye, I got to answer this because I answered every live chat. Um, 32 and a half, 13.56 pounds. That's great. I love that question. That's the most consistent question ever asked in a live chat. PB walleye, have you used a Shimano Vanford? I just ordered three. I haven't yet. I have some coming at some point. 
I just haven't used them yet. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on them though, because I heard they're pretty good. So I'm I haven't used them yet, but when I do, I'll give everybody my honest opinion on them. Best Clayton best lure for pike fishing in clear water through the ice and what depth? Uh, honestly, you can't beat for pike, especially this time of year, a good old dead bait. Um, but that, again, downsize it. Instead of running like a, an eight or a ten inch herring, go to like a six inch cisco, something small. Do you like spaghetti? Ah, uh, spaghetti's good. Yeah, I like spaghetti. I do. It's good. Yeah. Uh, any, anybody that is answering other people's questions, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That was awesome of you. I think I might have missed another. Did I miss another super chat? If I missed a super chat, I feel really. Cindy, please add me to the giveaway. That is awesome. Cindy, Cindy, you guys know the whole, the whole, pro, the whole, the way it all works. I think that's so cool. Clayton, have you, you ever hooked yourself? Mm, I've had four hooks or maybe five hooks in my hand or in my body, my whole guiding career. I've never put my own, my own hook in my hand though. It's usually a client usually is taking off fish out of those five, two of them were on my first day guiding ever up at Wigness Lake Lodge, which is part of Scott Lake Lodge, I took two of them in the first day. So in the next 18 years after that, I've only ever put three in my hand ever. So I've been very, very lucky, very lucky. How do I enter the giveaway? Giveaway Just by just by being here. Cindy's probably like, all she's doing is just writing names. So maybe that's what I have to figure out, a different system in terms for, for this, in terms of how to enter the giveaway. I'm going to try maybe running a giveaway different somehow in terms of maybe we'll do the giveaway sign up beforehand. I have an idea. When I announce the giveaway, we'll do it and I'll pick the winners ahead of time and we give it away. You still have to be here. It's not going to be about making comments in here. I, I just come to a new idea. I figured it out. I figured out the problems. We won't spam the chat. I got it. Uh, let's see here. Cindy, don't do me dirty. She's say, he's saying he wants to be signed up. Have you ever had any fish mounted? No, I have not had any fish mounted. And I likely would never mount a fish unless like a world record dies on me uh, or a great big one dies on me. I would do a replica before anything. And I've never done a replica yet either. At some point I will, but I want it to be, I want to do the replica when I have a, a awesome space area to kind of hide, to hide it, to hang it. Best fishing channel on YouTube. Are you asking me the best fishing channel? No. I really appreciate that, Brian. Cheers to you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Have you ever gone through the ice? I have, but never in a bad situation. It's always been when I've fallen through the ice, it's always been where I could actually touch. It's cold. Excuse me. It's cold. It's really cold. So it's like, uh, there, there's another question right there. Favorite ice suit. It's good that that question has led, well, falling through the ice has led into this. I think that floating suits are so important these days. Early ice, late ice, whenever, lots of bodies of water these days, you're going to have ice situations that can that can change daily, nightly, right? The wind can come in, it can change it in. A floating suit, I think, is so important. I've been using the striker suit now, which I got their hoodie on here, but I've been using the striker suit now for, I want to say, five years maybe six five years for sure since 2016 i think and i i was always a i was never a fan of like the big bulky shirts or the not the shirts the jackets where it felt like you were like you could hardly move and hardly jig i never put it in the hard water suit for the first time I was like this is amazing i was like i can wear a jacket i wear a t-shirt underneath it and wear the jacket and be good honestly now when i go fishing i wear my my hard water suit or my my climate suit I wear a t-shirt and, and pajama pants underneath the suit and it's so comfy. So my favorite suit to answer that question, I've been blabbing about this would be the hard water suit. And my second favorite would be the climate suit. They're so good. Carter likes the predator suit, but striker, honestly, in my opinion right now makes the best floating suit out there. Okay. I missed some come to Alaska and fish for Arctic char. That would be so cool. Alaska is definitely on the list, like hands down on the list. Show us Tigger. Well, we're going to have to get Carter to bring us Tigger because Tigger's upstairs somewhere. He needs to make an appearance. So, Cindy, you should get Carter to bring down Tigger. Somebody's requested on the super chat. 
And then I missed another one here. There was another super chat for six ninety nine. J no question. Thank you very much, Fishing with Fever. I appreciate that. Cheers to you all. I can't keep up. This is crazy. You saw the cat behind. Hey, that's Lucy. Lucy is an older cat. He's got three legs. He's doing good. But that's not Tigger. Everybody loves Tigger. But Lucy just hangs there. He'll hang there all night while I edit all the time. It's insane. Alexander Kavanaugh, favorite fish species to go for? Doesn't have to only be ice. Freshwater would be lake trout. With probably pike second and walleye third. Honestly, I love, I love chasing pike open water. And through the ice is okay, especially I chasing pike through the ice to me is usually boring unless you have the, the underwater stuff like I've been doing lately. It's been amazing. But pike open water, I'm telling you, it's so underrated. It's so underrated. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck a wood chuck chuck wood? That's so good. Cheers to you. We gotta do it. We gotta do we got another one after that from Treston Klein as well. For 1999, I gotta do a, uh, a shot for you guys. There, Mike B. I almost missed your question. I apologize. Any idea when Aquaview is going to restock the 7 715C? Great videos, by the way. Thank you for all the helps and tips. I reached out to Aquaview the other day because I noticed that the the HD cameras were out of stock now too. He told me, unfortunately, probably not till May. He said they had an unbelievable season for selling underwater cameras and may is when they're going to be coming again so when they do come out again get your hands on one as soon as you can cheers to all you guys that just left the super chat i love you all this is amazing oh i think that's a two ounce glass I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie markham or vexler flashers honestly i haven't used either for a long time so i can't give you an honest question on that i apologize your go-to crappy bait or lure for springtime. Dustin, I apologize. I, oh, I'm saying I apologize so many times. I've never caught a crappie. So for me to answer that question would be misleading. And I feel like you just wasted your super chat. So if you'd like a super chat refund, please let me know. I'm so sorry. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll text Jay later. And I'll say, what's your what's your favorite spring crappie bait? You know what? They've Jay and Aaron have both told me those little the little dragon slayers have been deadly for the the crappie. So they're little those little dragon slayers. I think they're two two inches. I think two point one inches. I think tube tube jig is a spring crappie, bud. There you go. See, look at that. See, I don't have to answer. We got other questions. We got other people in here. Where's Tigger? Everyone wants to know where Tigger is. Cindy, get Carter, send down Tigger. Carter, grab a beer, come hang out. I'm inviting Carter to grab a beer and come hang out. I'm going to make Carter answer the questions. He's going to come hang out. Cheers to everybody. We'll do the giveaway. Since there's so many people in here, I'll do the giveaway like in, in 20 minutes, and we'll give them away, and then maybe we'll hang out for a half an hour just in case anybody else wants to kind of hang out type of thing after that. So cheers, 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 cheers. Oh, I didn't want to report that one. I just wanted to hide them and put them in forever. Let's see here. Hide user on this channel. See ya. That's fun. I love the power. When you have a mouse, I have so much power. Tigger, everyone's Tigger. <laughs> give me a C, give me an I, give me an N, give me a D, give me a Y. Cindy, so good. You almost deserve a giveaway just for that one. Okay, questions. I can answer a question. Tigger. Have you ever gone duck hunting? I guide for duck hunting in Ontario. Well, Mike, I actually guided waterfowl hunting for, oh, 12 years, I think it was. So I've done a lot of a lot of duck hunting. Carter, won't come down or what? It's oh, come on. Tell him to get him a beer and come down here. That's sad. Tigger, hi. Okay, Tigger was requested. Here's Tigger. How's the name writing going? <sighs> Are you tired yet? I am on my second. Why don't you have a drink? It's okay. Hi, Tigger. This is Tigger. Yeah, he's a favorite. Look up here, Tigger. He was sleeping. Oh, he's purring. He's sleeping. He's purring now. This cat is the most cuddly cat in the world. You would not believe. He I'm just loves sorry. cuddles. He does. He is a huge kitty. But I'll have you know, he's lost. Look at the hair. He's oh. lost, what, two and a half pounds? Yeah. So funny story about this cat. 
is when I first kind of started hanging out with Cindy and moved my way into this house, he, this cat was so scared of me. He just hated me. Like, I mean, like he was always run away from me. Now he can't get enough of me. Another funny thing was when he was bigger, he never used to meow, right? He couldn't meow. He dropped two and a half pounds. Yeah. Now he meows all the time. Like all the time. Don't you care? Like I think his voice huh? scares him. Yeah. Like he's, and like, it's just like, if you guys could hear his meow. It's unreal. It's like, meow. Hey. You're yeah, you have a lot of hair. See, somebody's right here at Marshall. Hey, Cindy, write my name down, will you please? <laughs> I I think people on just, my screen. We I just hit six hundred people in here. Yeah, I think your record is seven eighty five. Oh. But um, oh. my screen, the names are just. I know. Owing. I know. Meow. Tigger, Tigger colored bait. Yes, that would be good. Hey, everybody's saying hi to you. How do I enter? How do I enter? I have to watch your videos, Captain. Hey, Clayton, do you prefer the Frostbite rods over the tuned-up custom rods for Lakers? I've used both of them. They honestly both make a great product. Oh, look at that hair. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either. I'm not going to lie. They're both such a good product in that sense. Uh, it's like that whole thing. Do you, do you drive a Ford or do you drive a Chevy, right? It's all what it comes down to, like, personal preference i right now yeah i do i i prefer the frostbite rods 100 percent. they've been very good to me and and as long as the rods don't let me down i have no reason to switch from them not that tuned up let me down before i just had an offer from frostbite with oh this cat here is unreal i had an offer from frostbite that i couldn't really resist and uh i've enjoyed the product it's been very good take everyone's tigger merch there is so much hair that's the one thing about having a cat look at that you guys think i'm hairy buckshot flutter spoons good spoon heck yeah ford see ford I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a chevy gmc guy myself have you ever caught a sturgeon yes i have i've caught lake sturgeon and white sturgeon both done some pretty awesome uh, pretty awesome white sturgeon trip uh take a shot cindy Ten dollars. You have to take a shot. Oh my god! You gonna have one? I'll get you a small little moonshine shot here. Little apple pie. I think I saw Wayne comment at some point. You have a shot. I yeah. There you go. Have a shot. Oh there. Have a shot. There. You'll have a have a shot, and you have to show the reaction after you shoot it, because he goes like the best. Ready? Ready? Who's better at fishing, you or Jay Siemens? Obviously me. Not even close. Cheers. I gotta watch your reaction to, what? to to the people. Six hundred eighteen people. But it's work for me. <laughs> it is work for it's work for me too. Oh, there, there it is. There, it, there it is. Swallow it. Oh, there it is, right there. <laughs> no good, hey. It's like. So that's what I made her. It's good going down, but apple hot pie moon moonshine. It's pretty good. It's hot. Jay is a rookie compared to Clay. No, Jay's a good angler. He's not a rookie. I just get uh, maybe fish some better bodies of water at a time. That's all. Although he Jay is technically up on me on the Jay versus Clay is two to one. So I'm going to make a big comeback this summer. Don't you worry about that. I love my primetime hoodie. Unreal quality. Okay, that's – I'm the, – the Teespring – Hoodies, I've heard good things from them too. The the ain't chartreuse ain't no use, but I've always been worried about uh, product. And Cindy's high on this too about product we can control in terms of quality control. The primetime hoodies, I've been super happy with them. They're a champion hoodie. They're awesome quality. So I appreciate you saying that for sure. Okay, what about Jay taught Clay? I did. I teach Jay a little bit. How long have you and Jay known each other? Um, two thousand and nine, I eight or nine. So 10 or 11 years for sure. What do you think about the Garmin Striker 4? Zane, honestly, I haven't used the Striker 4. So I can't give you an honest answer on that. I'm sorry. Our, because we have to run this by the boss first, but our fishing towels, like a, a like a flat golf towel with a CSO logo in the corner is a fishing towel or uh, what do you call them? Fishing buffs. Is that a good idea? 
Like, is that a good thing? What do you buffs. guys think? We're of looking that? at we're looking at towels right now and buffs for CSO merch. So that's kind of been either of them. So she's been really wanting to do it so bad. So the yeah, there. just won't approve. No, so it's just... <laughs> not that I won't approve. It's the time. Buffs, yeah, buffs. Worst fishing accident. I, I I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that one. We were talking about that that one time. The, well, the guy almost hit me. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll tell you any three extra large hoodies coming. I I think I still have one three extra large laps of prime time. I'm pretty sure I do. Go. Cool. I think so. Should be up there. We'll open it really quick here. But I'm sure I do have one more three extra large left. Clayton, I love your the three extra large the the ain't sh ain't chartreuse ain't no use ones. I don't know why they weren't offering three extra large. But I gotta look into that too. But I have on my store on ClaytonCheckOutdoors.com. I still have, and I apologize for not in the chat right now. I've, I've only got ten prime time hoodies left. I really need to order some more. I guess I still have two triple extra large prime time hoodies left. So if you go to maybe I'll put it up there. Clayton Schick. Four large, three medium. Yeah. I don't I have other stuff I need to get rid of. Clayton Schick Outdoors. I can't believe I have my own website. Which I made myself, so it's probably not that good. Right there. I think I can pin it up there too. Pin message there. Should be at the top for Clayton Schick Outdoors. They're not pinned. You clicked on it. No, it should, it should be up at the top somewhere. I don't know. There we go. Okay. Yes, neck gaiters. So, yes, buffs, the gaiters. This is for Lucy. Aw, Lucy. You're going to get fed this week. Isn't that sweet? Do a shout out to Mitch Pulser. Pulser? Pulser? How would you pronounce that? Pulser? Please. We love you guys. Pulser. No, it's he, he brackets oh, yeah. for how to pronounce it. Pulser. Well, hello, Mitch. Cheers to you. Everybody says towels for sure. Cindy versus Sam instead of Jay versus Clay. Hey? Cindy would lose, but that's okay. She probably would pack better snacks, though. I eat snacks and drink the entire time. It, drink what? Whatever we pack. Clayton, can you do a homemade lures for pike video? Only if that could mean I could do, like, my, tie my own flies type of thing. What is the catfish behind you? It's a it's a towel it's a a pillow a catfish pillow catfish pillow what well, lodge Clayton I love your videos thank you up thank you very much Cindy rocks do an ice castle video I need to get an ice castle again cheers Clayton you're seriously our favorite YouTuber ever thank you so much I appreciate you watching uh oh they can't keep up I know okay I see a bunch of ducks going by Clayton can you make sure Cindy gets me in a good the good old giveaway can you go put Mike L bat in the giveaway. Oh, he's already in. He's in. Labatt. There you go, Labat. There you go. Already in. I got in. a Labat and a prisoner in. in there. Sydney's gonna that. write down names for like okay. ten more minutes, okay. and then we are going to do it. We have okay. six hundred and fifty-three people in here. There you go. Uh, yeah, Tigger hair does fly. I know, right? See, you know what? Is as, as I think I should do what Jay did, right? Where he did a a, a Rudy versus Judy. I think I need to do that too. I think I need to do a a Lucy versus Tigger video, because that was that was pretty cool. Clone Clay, start the chant. Clone Clay. Could you imagine more Clays kicking around? No, one's enough. <laughs> so good. Okay. She's going to write some more names down there uh, at the moment. You guys, I I apologize for I'm not keeping up with stuff. You guys, this is going through here. I'm sorry. Like, I feel like a donkey that I can't get in here for sure. Oh bad can you please ask cindy to add my name you betcha i'm gonna ask her add add p d k p phil hunter 73 done add me carl no problem uh new merch from frostbite I, is there new merch from frostbite i don't know i have their sister they have frostbite has some awesome hoodies out they have like the frostbite and then like the logo of like where you're from and i have obviously the saskatchewan one it's so cool it's so cool. Turn on slow chat. Is there such a thing? Live chat. Participants, pop out chat, toggle times that. There's no slow chat. Anybody that says add me, hot tip, isn't going to get added anymore. 
because that's just too much. Will you be getting Mega Live? I hope so. I hope to have Mega Live in my hands as soon as possible. Like Mega Live to me is going to be, I think it's going to be so amazing for the videos. I, I love showing off like the visual thing more than anything. The underwater, the hummingbird cameras. To me, it's like if you're part of it, it means more than anything. I really think the Mega Live is going to be that much more. Rosa and I are headed for a camp trip. She's excited. And she wanted me to say hi for her and make a comment so we have a chance to win. Well, Stephen, I am pretty sure you are officially in there. And maybe Rosa will be in there too. That is awesome. Cheers to you. I really appreciate all the support from you. It means a lot. Thank you. Uh, love your videos. Husband and I watch them together all the time. Have you ever fish center pinned? Have you ever center pinned fish for steelhead? Well, Munchums, I have not center pished center pin fished for steelhead i it's something i would probably do at some point but there's just so many things on the list so it's not that i don't want to do it i just don't know when i would get a chance but i know uh one of my clients that comes up to wollaston and fly fishes up there i know he does it for steelhead in bc all the time and loves it skyler worst fishing accident i i got off top topic about this before so we'll get onto it now um you know what yeah okay it'll be a five minute story when I was guiding at Wallison, I think for 14, 15 years, um, I had a new guide with us. And I'm going to try to do this quick. He almost ran into my boat twice. And I remember coming down on him pretty hard at the end of the day and being like, you got to pay more attention and you can't run into me and all this stuff. And now looking back on it, he would have been a hundred percent fault. Yes. For running into me, for not paying attention for all that stuff. But it led me to, to see things in a different aspect. Now, when I'm driving my tiller, I'm guiding and I start to slow down. I look behind me. Is there a boat behind me? Is there a boat following me? Should I be cautious of something? Accidents for the most part can always be avoided if both people are paying attention or if one of the two people are paying attention it's no different if you were a stop sign out of the car and you started going and you got sideswiped yes it was that other person's fault but if you were paying attention to your whole surroundings you could have avoided that accident so yes that was it wasn't an actual accident but it was the closest i've ever been to getting hit and i mean like when he swerved around me the the spray of the boat soaked me and I, I remember, because what happened, my boat stalled out on me. And obviously, this wasn't, this, this wasn't as my fault as much as the boat's fault. It stalled on me a little bit. So I stopped, and I was going to drain my fuel filter. And I went down, I started draining my fuel filter. And I remember getting the fuel filter back on, and I looked up, and I just saw the nose of his boat. And I'm literally, I'm like, I'm dead. I'm like, it's over. I'm like, I don't I have any time to react. And the boat just all of a sudden swerved at the last second. But that goes back to you have to always pay attention. Don't assume that everybody's watching what you're doing, right? Head on a swivel 24-7, 360 degrees all the time. So, yes, that's that's my, like, scariest accent. But it's, like, so funny. It's, like, I was so mad at the time at, at him. And now I look back and I go, it was just as much my fault for not paying attention. Okay, I'm behind. Big fan of Colorado here. Just wanted to pop in and show my support. You put any, you put any stock, oh, any thought maybe you're saying in the, in the whole Fishy Moon calendar stuff. Love the channel and your energy, man. Thank you so much, Jamin. Um, the full moon calendar, I don't really believe in that much. Uh, moon sets and moon rises, I feel pay, play a bigger factor to all that. And when your moon rises and your moon sets align with your sunrises and your sunsets, if that makes sense, in those prime time hours, your bites can be pretty insane, in my opinion. Now you're going to look, yes, those are going to come around your whole full moon times periods. But if you pay more attention to that, consistent weather is going to be your biggest factor, no matter what. Okay, I'm behind on Super Chats there. And I missed a bunch of other ones. I feel sorry. Uh, okay, where I saw some other Super Chats here. Where are we going? Uh, Johnny Bradley, cheers from the wife and I in the Ice Castle. That is awesome, Johnny. Jo Johnny, Johnny uh, have a good time in the Ice Castle. Be safe, okay? Even though you're in an Ice Castle and it's got like a controlled 
thermostat heat, still have a carbon monoxide detector with you. Just be safe about it. I had an ice castle at one point, and I remember waking up in the one night, and actually maybe there, in your ice castle there's a built-in carbon monoxide detector, and it was just like, it just was beeping. And I'm like, what's going on? Well, that was the the, the built-in carbon monoxide detector in the whole, in the system beeping. So just be careful. Ever fish for wide mouth of boundary, da boundary down near Estevan? Chris, I have, I think I have two or three videos on my channel. I usually fish them at open water, like May, May 5th to the 10th. I've only ever been down there three times. Dason, I'm, are you fishing tomorrow? D Hoffman? Yes. Uh, I believe Carter and I are going fishing tomorrow. I think we're going to go chase flags for pike. He really wants to catch a big pike, so hopefully we're going to make that happen at some, at some point. When COVID is over, do a, a video with AP Bassing. I would do a video with Perrick in a heartbeat just because he's, I know a lot of people don't like him. He's got more hate than you can imagine, but he's so energetic and so passionate. I would love, honestly, I'd love to take him fishing and hook into a big laker, and I'd be like the whole time, he would be like, please come off, please come off, please come off. Because I just want to see him blow up. It'd be so good. A bourbon catch and cook. Yes, we need to do uh, a catch and cook for bourbon at some point. Hey, Clayton, have you ever fished Lake Simcoe? I have not fished Lake Simcoe. Can we get another uh, 3CS vid with you and Aaron? Yes, we need to do. I need to do another video with Aaron at some point. It'll happen at some point. COVID is playing, uh, he didn't, playing a huge factor in that right now. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, good, good to see you uh, on Este Awesome. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. How many times have you? Where did I go? I I can't. I I missed that question. It's gone. Who's winning the Scotties? I don't know. We cancel our TSN right now. We don't watch a lot of TV, so um, I know it sounds lame. But uh, we don't watch a lot of TV, so we kind of canceled most of our, our cable TV. So I don't know who's winning the squad is right now. Great videos and always learning from your content. Big fan. Barry, thanks to you. Cheers very much for the $4.99. It's much appreciated. Uh, we've got 51 minutes. We'll, we'll get Cindy to write down names for five more minutes. She'll come down. She'll do the giveaway. I'm going to hang out with you guys for another half an hour just after the giveaway just for people that want to maybe ask some questions that i missed it just slows down a little bit well there's carter he says howdy now everybody should give him a rough time about not coming down for a beer maybe he should come down for a beer now i saw another one there race race the giveaway is in five minutes race marcinku i i guide with his dad at uh, wallace and his dad's a legend race is going to be a legend he's already a good snowmobiler he's going to be a good fisherman he's a dude Five minutes race, the, the giveaway will be will will be going. Uh have you fished the Okanagans? No, I have not. I have not. Beer time. See, Carter, everybody's saying beer time, beer time. What's my PB pike? 47 inches, 46 through the ice, but I've guided much bigger. Yeah, Carter, you could be a celebrity if you bring down Tigger. Yeah, isn't isn't Tigger awesome? Well, he's gone now. He was oh, he's on the see. He's a bully though. That cat is a bully. Tigger, aren't you? He bullied Lucy out of his spot. Tigger is a bully. He's a bully. I'm not gonna lie. We have 663 people in here. This is insane. Have a beer, Carter. Everybody's bugging Carter for a beer. I love it. Do you ship merch to the U.S.? Yes, I do. And the link is up there, Clayton Chick Outdoors. And then you could also go to uh, my Teespring account on YouTube there. And I have some ain't chartreuse, ain't no use merch out as well. Uh, the merch thing is going to keep growing over the summer because the the summer, especially if there's no, if there happens to be no Wallison, which would be disappointing because the borders aren't open. I'm praying, praying that the borders are going to open and I'm going to have a guiding season because I need to make some money because Cindy's going to kick me off the futon at some point. So pudding shots. Somebody says pudding shots too. So Cindy, when you come down, you better get yourself a pudding shot. Have you heard about the new 39 hours? Yeah, you guys haven't heard about the new 39 hours? coming out tomorrow. Okay, I'm lying. There's no 39 hours right now, and it might be a bit before it happens. Uh, COVID's throwing a huge factor into that one for sure. Somebody said, not going to lie, put that on a shirt. Yes. Okay. Either. Why do some guys use a bait cast from the lake trail set up for ice fishing and some a spinning reel? Honestly, Cole, it's personal preference. Per 100% personal preference. 
Where is the best perch lake in Manitoba? I I think the Shoal Lakes are pretty good. Oak Lake, Oak Lake's a good one too for the like some of the biggest ones. I just know they're a lot tougher to catch. Hey Clay, I just picked up my first fishing boat at the age of 19. That's funny because Carter, who is 20 now, wants to buy a boat this this year more than anything. Want to become a pro guide. Any tips or tricks to help me reach my goals? I understand you've done some great guiding yourself. Um Keep it simple for your for the guiding thing and keep your boat really clean and organized more than anything when it comes to guiding. The equipment isn't, the, the electronics or all that stuff isn't going to necessarily help you catch more fish. So focus more on good equipment when it comes to rods, reels, and tackle for your guest. Your electronics is going to help you find more fish, but not necessarily catch more fish. So start more with your equipment and then move down to there and like dial your boat in with electronics as you can. But more importantly, just keep everything clean and organized. Try to stay organized. And it's so tough as a guide to stay organized, but you would not believe how key it is to keeping yourself from not getting overworked and overtired. Stay organized. Uh, do you have a name for your catfish? I don't. I saw another super chat there. I think I missed. I got to get to where is it? Right there. Brian, best fishing content on YouTube. You're the man, Clay. Brian, I really appreciate that. Um, I, I'm i one of those people who don't, I don't believe I have the best fishing content on YouTube, but I believe, I, I do believe it's up there. I believe I've worked my way, but I definitely take, I take pride in it and I work hard. So thank you so much. I, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Best catch and cook. Well, I wish I had some here. I took it home with me. The, the old catch and cook, uh, the, the spices, the seasoning, right? Like, heck yeah. But to me, the best fish to cook is pike. Can you explain your relationship to Carter? Seems like you and him have a great relationship and a great bond. Yes, Carter and I do have a good relationship. Um, Carter is Cindy's boy. Uh, so he's not my own. He's not my own kid. He's not my own child. He's Cindy's boy. Yes, believe it or not, Cindy, um, she doesn't look but she does. Um, that's that's her boy. So I take him out fishing, and fishing isn't something he's done before me very much. But he's caught the bug super super hard. And nowadays, it's like I get all the like the questions at times, like, "Are you selling your old gear? Are you selling this?" I try to give as much as I can to Carter. I don't give him everything. Obviously, he's bought his own auger last year and a bunch of other stuff. But and he he's learning the whole the. Um, the aspect of the workforce now he's working in a mine he works seven days seven off so he's out for seven days so when earlier i was like he's playing the xbox well you know what he just worked for seven straight days 12 hours a day where he literally worked and slept and then yesterday we went fishing and tomorrow we're going fishing again but he's that that's my relationship with him so he has he's taken a love for fishing and i've loved to teach him as much as i can and i'm very I, feel, I told him yesterday when we were out pike up pike fishing that I was super happy that I got to show him some of the um, the good habits to pick up instead of bad habits because he's very particular now. He sees a post on Facebook where the uh, uh, northern pike's eyes are frozen or where and hung from the gills, and it's like he's like I can't believe that. So I've I've rambled about it again, and I do that a lot. I ramble, ramble, ramble. But Cindy is Carter's boy, and Carter, if you haven't figured. And Cindy, if you haven't figured out, is my girlfriend. You have made it in time. You have. We're going to do the giveaway here in two minutes. Cindy's going to come down here and uh, with a bunch of names, and we're going to pull up a random number generator, and we're going to give it. Dye your beard. Chartreuse, right? Oh, I have something that would dye my beard green right now. Carter and I started filming a video yesterday, um, excuse me, for Pike. And I won't get, I'm not going to give anything away. I'm going to let it. We're going to, we're continuing the video tomorrow because yesterday wasn't very good, but I'm going to just keep filming off of what we have right now and involve something chartreuse. It's pretty cool. Clayton, you should do, where'd that go? Uh, Carter is, is interested in guiding. I mean, him doing what he does with in the mind first, I think is good. Guiding will always be there. I think develop or getting a, a little bit of education for him in this, in this, in this aspect right now was was worth it and i the whole covid where guiding's not necessarily going to be something where he could he could do right so he i think he does want to guide at, at someday but i'm just not sure when it'll happen yet 
uh are you going to give us some musky content i'm hoping to do some musky content this summer maddie favorite goat fish to go after is lake trout are the perch shallow or deep i honestly don't know they're shallow and deep right now i would say for the most part they're cruising mud flats probably um it, it all depends like in terms of reservoir versus lake too right like a lake i think you can maybe find them a little bit shallower whereas a reservoir you have to go deeper uh perch beer to be awesome ah who would do that? No, I'm just kidding. It's been done, right? Uh, hey, Clayton, how do you keep your tent from freezing to the ice? Okay, we'll answer this last question, and then we're going to do the giveaway. This is how I keep my tent from freezing to the ice. Say if you're going to shovel in, shovel your area out for your tent, set your tent up first. So say this is your snow. Set your tent up here, and then shovel out the inside of your tent. Don't shovel out a great big area and then put your tent down. Also, it's going to give you, like, say if you have, like, a, a, a foot extra snow, you're going to give your, holy cow, you're, if you have a foot of extra snow, you're going to give your tent a, a foot extra higher too, right? So think about that in that in that sense. Shovel the inside of it out. Whether you put your tent down and mark it and then move your tent and then shovel an area, but if you keep your tent high off the snow, your, your, your stuff isn't going to freeze in. Um... We better have a shot here, and then we'll do the giveaway. Steven Stricker, thank you so much. This is crazy. $49.99 Super Chat. Effing uh, <laughs> A, buddy, because I love your videos and like tacos. Yeah, tacos are the best. Fish tacos are the best. I think you have to have one, too, for that, right? Oh, I brought. Oh, you brought? Um. Okay. There's also one other question. I, I realize that there's a zillion questions going oh through and you my. can't read them all. Yeah. There was one question on there that was asked like several times okay. and I'm sure you missed it a lot. Um, what is your favorite childhood fishing memory? Was one that I saw. Um Do you have one? Yeah. It's kind of sad. Oh. Um, <laughs> it's okay. How do you do this? It's sad now because of the situation. <laughs> okay, pick a different one. Um, just give me a minute. I'll be okay. <laughs> No, um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, tell them what my dad has. <laughs> Clayton's parents are very, very young. And three years ago, his dad was diagnosed with ALS. He does very, very well. And he's still able to fish. Clayton takes some fishing every spring, every summer. And Clayton made him his own fishing rod. And he rigged up uh, an ice fishing rod. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. He, he made him he an ice fishing rod because it's smaller and rigged it for summer fishing. And he's able to catch fish with it. He does very, very well. So I'm going to guess, <laughs> now that I started this, I'll finish it. But that's Clayton's Fishing with favorite my dad is... childhood memory. Yeah. Clayton's parents both fish. Clayton's grandparents fish. Clayton's great uncle and aunt. They all did tournaments when Clayton was little. They had one Clayton's brother would fish with his parents and do tournaments Clayton would go with his great uncle and aunt all these people would fish together and do tournaments now they all camp together all summer Clayton's parents bought a pontoon boat and we all just fish out of the pontoon boat it's like the best time sorry no it's <laughs> right, Lucy? my greatest memory of fishing as a childhood growing up and I've been super fortunate and I've made some amazing memories with my good buddy Jay and fishing tarpon and all that, but fishing with my parents was young camping trips. 
If you have kids, get out and go fishing with them. Okay. I'm so sorry. This is, I can't believe this just happened. Sorry, okay. it's my fault. No. Okay. Giveaway. Let's do it. Let's do it. Giveaway. Let's give them some. Let's get some stuff away. Let's get some stuff away. I really want to finish my shot. You should shoot. Okay. We have a pile of names. We're gonna give some stuff away. This is this is my favorite part. This is what I do now. These are all my fishing memories. I love it. Okay. I'm so sorry you guys had to listen to that. That was that was brutal. I wanted to just exit the chat so bad right there. Um, number out of number generator. Okay. Let's see here. We got a lot of numbers. Like, holy cow. Okay. So many numbers. Take her, yeah. The bully took his spot. Okay, let's put that there. Kick him out, Lucy. Minimize yeah. this you first know. number. Okay, you the know. rules of the giveaway. This is like this is the rules of the giveaway. It's so good. You have to be here to win. You can't have one, or you can't have your name drawn and not still be here. We have seven seven hundred twenty nine people here. Insane. Guarantee. Everybody is here, I would think. So I'm going to generate a number. Cindy has pages, double-sided each page of names right here, and then it's got a number beside your name. We generate a number, we look at the number, and then we read the name, and we see if you're here, and you win. And we hope we can read my spelling. And we hope we can read Cindy's spelling. Ja Jamie Berry, $20. Mm. Only real men. Oh, God, I can't believe I... I yeah, 114. Clinton Hansen. Clinton Hansen, are you here? Because if you are, you have won the first giveaway of right here. Clinton Hansen. Clinton Hansen, are you here? Everybody look for Clinton Hansen. If you joined seven minutes ago, will you be answered? You might have. Clinton Hansen, you're, I'm here, I'll, I'll, that's Ted Taylor, you're here too, we see that, Clinton Hansen, Clinton Hansen is my nickname, <laughs> Clinton Hansen, Ooh, you saw it right there, right there, okay, Clinton, and I'll say this for everybody, can you send me a message on Instagram or Facebook with your, uh, with your address, please? So I can get you this stuff right here. Uh, if I miss up the orders, it might not be the same colors, but you have won the first giveaway. They're all the giveaways are all the same. They're just different colors. Clinton Hansen is here. One fourteen. Well, we should. I should circle that right here, so I don't have to rewatch the chat later and watch myself cry on live stream. Clinton Hansen. Okay. When did we get a silver sharpie? Mm. That's nice. Well, we needed stuff from the LA Kings signed. Oh, oh, <laughs> LA Kings. Her cousin is actually Jarrett Stoll, if anybody knows uh, NHL. Generate, here we go. Winner two, 160. 160. 160. Where is it? Right there. Logan Woodruff. Logan Woodruff. Are you here? Logan Woodruff. Logan Woodruff, you are the winner of chat number two. Chat number two, Stall. No, Stall. Jordan Stall. Nope, Jarrett. Jarrett Stall. Did mm -hmm. I say Jordan? Did I say? Mm -hmm. I said Jordan the first time. I meant Jarrett. Jarrett Stall. Sorry. Whoops. That was hopefully. Oh, he's not going to be watching. We're okay. Uh, and they're very good. Are, yeah, look at you. 160. What was the name again? Uh, Logan Woodruff. Logan Woodruff. Are you here? Logan Woodruff, are you here? Logan, Logan Woodruff. Logan Woodruff, he's here. Everybody's saying he's here. Okay, there he is. I just haven't seen his name. Everybody Ooh. keeps saying he's here, though. Joey's on. Joey I'm is on. Him in here. Yeah. Okay, right there, Logan. Okay, you're here. Logan, same thing. You have now won. Send me your address, please. You have won. I love giving stuff away. This is the best. I don't get anything. What are we going to do for a giveaway after this? Because I got to give something away after. 
We're going to go through my ball. 152. They're all close. 152. Mickey 8379. Is that a song? 873. You are my. I guess I'm sure that's a song. Mickey 8738. No, 8379. Mickey <laughs> Carter, a boat. We're giving a boat away. Yeah. So what am I going to fish from? As if Carter's not coming having a beer. Yeah, see, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Oh. See, they know that's a song. Oh, it's eight three seven nine. Mickey eight three seven nine. That is awesome. See, everybody knows that. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. That is Jenny. <laughs> Cindy gets the best gift. Jason, I agree. Here, somebody said here. Jason, you want to trade? Hey, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey eight three. He's here. He's here. Where is it? Where? Okay, where? Mickey, Mickey. Oh, oh right there, right there, right there. Okay, okay, I'm here. You win. Okay, Mickey eight three seven nine. Send me your address, please. Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Um, if for some reason you any of you guys don't have Facebook Messenger, Instagram, reply to uh, post a comment on this video somehow with your email or something. We'll get a show. We got one more of that to give away. Random number generator generate 111. 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, Maybe. Oh, there's Tigger again. Owen Cowan. We're going to give something else away yet. I just don't know what we're giving away yet. Owen Cowan. Everybody Let's says welcome back. Carter. Carter. Yeah, Carter. Owen Cowan. Owen Cowan. Owen Cowan. Carl, we know you're here, but you're not Owen Cowan. Oh, Carter. Owen Cowan. 750 people here, only 250 likes. Yeah, what are we doing here? Smash that like button. Isn't that like what YouTubers do? Hit the like button and subscribe or whatever. Isn't that what they say? Subscribe and like and stuff. Carter is my daughter. Carter. Carter's my daughter too. Yeah. Give away the cat. You what? You what, Tigger? We'll be giving away Carter okay. before we give away Tigger. Oh, are we having Owen Cowan? I love doing oh, this one, Owen. Oh. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. That's <laughs> Owen. Hurt tag, don't you fool me like that. No, no, no. Someone wants your hat. I love giving stuff away. Somebody wants what hat? Which hat? hat? Carter's hat? Okay. I'll give one of those away. This one. No, go in my box. Okay. Find a nice fish mantle hat. We're going to give that away next. Carter will autograph it. Yeah, can I? Oh, you can only get a hat if Carter can sign it. Owen, I don't see an Owen. Uh, I don't know where it would be. Owen Cowan. Okay, we'll give Owen Cowan a second. If it ain't charity, we ain't here to party. Uh, um, uh, Owen, we're gonna give Owen Cowan a second to get here. We are going to do. Uh, in the gray. No, no, the the gray. In the hats over here. I'm fish or ice fish. Uh, ice fish. An ice fish. Give me an ice fish hat. Give away. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Do I get to sign it though? Oh yeah, Carter has to sign it. Here we go. The Here we go. You gotta sign it. You have to sign it in the bottom of the brim. We 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 don't want to ruin the hat that much. Are they saying they want me to sign it? Doesn't matter. We haven't given away yet. Go okay. Then. Okay. We're doing. We're giving Owen Cowan a second here to win the fourth giveaway. We might be giving that away again here. Practice, <laughs> you don't have to practice your signature. Just go with it. I'm friends with Owen. Can I give it to him? No, I'm sorry. Owen has to be here. Oh, both of you sign it. Oh, there's another nine 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 nine. Tell Carter, rotational life is where it's at, bud. And I meant to say Pike Tacos are the best. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do another. We're gonna do a giveaway for the hat. Generate one hundred three. What's all the hundreds? Sam. Oh shoot. Sam. Duck. Duck. Duck Murray. Duck Is there? Okay, if you have a Sam here and it starts with a D U C H. Oh, somebody said he's here. This must be Owen. Is Owen here then? Somebody just keeps saying he's here. He is Jones here. On. He's here. He's here. 
Okay, Owen is here. Okay, everyone keeps saying Owen is here. I appreciate you guys being like honest because Owen's probably like, oh, I can't type here. Owen, everyone keeps saying you're here. I'm scrolling. I can't find your. Oh, right Owen there. Cowan. Here. Okay, Owen Cowan, send me your uh, met your address so we can send you a giveaway for the three lures there. And what was the one? 103. Sam Dukery. Oh, right there. Right there, he's yeah. here. Okay, you're, Sam. You're four for four, Clayton. Five? No, that's five for five. Oh, sorry. Let's give another Manitoba hat away. One more. Who Go won, find who won this Sam one? Du Sam Sam Ducarine. Let's give another Manitoba hat away. We didn't do one yet. Yeah, oh, Sam Ducarine. Oh, Sam, Sam Ducarine. Sam. So, so is there four? That's all given away. We have four. four. <laughs> yeah, that's four. Let's give another one away. Whatever one you want. No, yeah, you're in your pajamas. Yeah, I know. Look at the cat hair. Date night for me. And my wife is when you release a new video. That's awesome. What are we giving away now? Ooh. Oh, Cindy to sign the hat next. That's one of my favorites. Look at that. Camo ice fish. We don't have date nights of watching videos, do we? <sighs> Chick flicks. Chick flicks. <laughs> you guys don't want to see the movie that I watch. <laughs> oh, oh, you might get a silver streak in your hat. I'm not sure. Okay. Generate. 164. That's one towards oh. me. No, above G it. GD. GDC SFG SC. There we go. For real. Signed out right here. I'll, I'm going to sign this one. <laughs> what do we got here again? GD. 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 What? GD. GDC. S space. S F G S C. Where can I buy? The if you search the Forks Manitoba, I think you can get. You can buy them on on there. I believe. GDC. We're looking for a GDC. Greg, what's going on? We're right giving right stuff away. Right, you see it? Oh, right there, right here. I'm here. Okay. There you go, GDC. Send me oh, I your saw address. Sushi. I did. You saw Grady? Yeah. Hi, Grady. Okay. Everybody has, we've given away six things. The hats are super expensive to fish. Is that fish? Fishing's always on my mind. The ship, I'm not going to lie. So we're only going to do hats today. And then the four lures, I've got six giveaways. That'll be it for the giveaways. I'm going to hang out with you guys in another 15 minutes for anybody that wants to hang out. Uh, and have another drink or whatever, but uh, that will be it for that or for the giveaway. So, if anybody's only here for the giveaways and not the next 15 minutes of chatting, now is your time to leave because I know some people have some questions that I haven't answered. I'd love to kind of answer yet. So, I'll we'll, take a shot. There, you, there you go, right from the bottle, Carter. Bourbon videos, yes, bourbon videos are going to happen at some point for sure. So look at that. We went from 728 to 713. See? I know there's just some people here for the giveaways. And I think that's awesome. I don't blame you guys at all. I don't blame you guys at all. Guided trip with Cindy. What, what was that one? Guided trip with Cindy. Guided trip. Yeah, you're going to get a guided trip, Cindy. Oh, so, great. Where yeah. are we going? No, you're, no, you're, you're guiding. guiding. Oh, I can. You're guiding. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Can my, you get me another chalada? My boat will be Carter. Bottom bottom tray, there's another chalada. Please. Yes, Thank you. He Lucy wants some giveaways too. Been here since the start. Mario, I really appreciate that. I do pre I do feel bad for anybody that I missed in terms of questions. Like really apologize. Anyone know frostbite discount code? There is no frostbite discount code story. Steven Strick. I'm sorry you didn't win, Steven. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. I really apologize. I oh, do. The next Thank one you. Will be for you. No. Oh, oh, I have to do that? Yeah. I, I've Are it. you trying to get me drunk? How about we'll share it? Mm. Sure. Sure. Head down to Northwest. If you have. Cheers. Sorry, I keep interrupting you. I'll leave you answer questions. I feel like Steven Stricker should win something. I feel like I should send him a toque at least for as much as he donated tonight. Hi, Lucy. Lucy. Come here. 
catfish pillow through the ice. Right? Well, hi, Lucy. Okay. Best ice fishing pike lures. I'm, I've been giving away. Oh, ice fishing pike lures. It's pretty hard to beat the dead bait, to be honest with you. Like, the dead bait's just so good. I'm done. You're done? You're by? Leaving? Yeah, you answer your question. Okay. Nobody wants to talk to Thanks you. for making me ball my eyes out. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean no, that to happen. No, that's okay. It's it not your fault. It was just a question I saw a lot. I know, I know, I know. I just, I was like, I was trying so hard not to think of, like, the whole campy memories. There, I can answer it now that I've thought about it. Uh, the whole, my biggest memories growing up was the camping with the family at Wellman Lake, at Tolman Lake, all those places. That was so awesome. So if you have, like... If you're a father with a young family, take the time and go go camping with your kids. Maybe they might not they might not think like they don't, or they might act like they don't appreciate it now, but they will when they get older. I promise you that much. I remember my dad literally sold a snow machine to take us to Florida to go to Disney World. Spend time with your kids as much as you can. The camping thing is huge. There, see, why couldn't I just answer that question like that? I I know, it's so easy. They want to spend time with you again. They come back. That was so Yes, I do fish Crooked Lake. I do. Pros and cons, London, Lumacraft. Uh, by, I'm only going to be 15 minutes, 10 minutes. Um, Lumacraft, I, I'd love to be in a Lund. I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I have no affiliation, affiliation with the Lumacraft at this point. Zero. So if anybody has a Lund contact, or another boat contact that would like to see me in their boat this summer, uh, maybe they should uh, maybe uh, hit me up. They make, they make, uh, Lund makes a great boat. They really do. I've been guiding the Lund for 18 years in a Pro V and it's been solid. Solid. Uh, can you shout out Fattest Pandist? Hello, Fattest Pandist. It's probably me. When will you be getting the Mega Live? That's a great question. I don't know, but I hope I get it when it first comes out. I really do, because I feel like it'd be so good for my channel for making awesome content and awesome videos and showing it all off. So I definitely hope it's earlier than later. I really do. All-time favorite Foss Frostbite Spoons color? Rose gold, baby. Love the rose gold. I'm not going to lie. It's been one of my favorite colors since the start it's rose gold with an orange bell it's so good uh the pros of the lund are that i have one yeah you know what i mean it's like it's that whole thing if you have a boat it doesn't matter whether it's a lund or it's lumacraft having a boat is the biggest the biggest thing right like you want to have a boat any tips if i'm renting an ice shack for the day and i can't move spots take advantage of your second line and drill some holes around it like fish air different areas there just because you're renting an ice shack for the day doesn't mean you have to stay there for the day but it gives you a spot to store all your gear and keep stuff maybe you can venture out a little bit if you can't move it obviously it's a little bit harder in that sense if it's uh an ice castle maybe you're there for for the weekend or for the night keep that as your home base don't feel like this is the only place you can fish at the same time a lot of my ice fishing trips if you've been camping out an area eventually fish will cruise through so there's it's always that thing hindsight 2020 right like you could literally if you went somewhere else for the day and came back later and all of a sudden it was like oh there was fish that cruised through my shack the whole day you had your underwater camera going with the recording and you went other places right like hindsight's always 2020 joey thank you very much mickey doesn't have instagram or facebook okay uh Obviously, that's somebody that won, and I just oh, right there, Mickey eight eight three seven nine. Uh, Joey, do you can they send you their address somehow, or there must be comment to it, Mickey? Um, Joey, I should obviously give you refund you for that money because I feel like that's the only way you got my attention. If you don't have Facebook or Instagram, and you're doing a giveaway, comment on this video below the actual comment with uh, your an email, a phone number, anything where I can get you your address and get it to you. We will make sure that uh, it doesn't get given to somebody else. I was just going to come down and tell you that that Mikey 8379 doesn't have. Thank you for watching because I didn't see it. And Joey, I feel like Joey, Joey tip 279 just to say that. Joey, I need to get you a shirt or something. 200 people left, Jason. You know what? 200 people left after the giveaway. That's okay. 500 people in here. It's still, still crazy. 
is crazy. Yeah, don't give me your phone number over. Well, we'll we'll figure it out, Mickey. Just comment below. Out away, like I don't mean comment here. Comment when the actual video comes out. Um, I got Joey's Instagram too. Uh, obviously, Joey. Joey's just pointing that out again. Mickey, comment in the videos below that uh, you can obviously if you can comment here after this video is published, comment below and we will find a way to get it to you. We will. Crazy's got you on the big screen. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Hey, Clayton, sorry I have to leave because I have to study. You don't have to apologize to leave. I can't believe there's still this many people in here at this point. I really can't. I'm, I'm pretty sure after I told my whole life story there a little bit, everybody's unsubscribed too. I wouldn't blame them at all. Do you ever get... Uh, do you ever get a bump? Or where did that message go? I saw some other bump board. It's gone. I got to be better about that. I saw a question. It's all of a sudden it's gone. Gone, gone, gone. Steven, you're still here. I know. And tacos are the best, right, Steven? Uh, look through the, those memory messages again at a later time. Great community. Lots of love in there. Oh, huh? I will. Thank you, Tanner. I appreciate that. I, yeah, I will. I will. We do. We have built an awesome, I believe we built an awesome following through this channel more than anything. And it's like, now when I go out to make a video, it's like, I love knowing that it's like, when I put this video out, I have all these people that are following along and getting to watch it and enjoy it and, and learn from it or just be excited for what we're doing too. And that's why I like to take Carter fishing that in that sense too, right? It's like we went tip up fishing yesterday and I do the same thing tomorrow. We had four tip ups set out because we can have two rods a piece, but I didn't plan on reeling a fish in, right? I reel with my left hand, he reels with his left his right hand. I set them up all right hand to retrieve. He's going to reel all the pike in. So if we happen to catch a big pike tomorrow, he oh I accidentally hit that I did not mean to hide that show 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 uh if i if we catch a big pike tomorrow he's gonna be the one to reel it in so why does that keep getting hidden don't don't hide steven striker's messages please whoever the moderator that had i have a moderator here that hid steven striker's messages do please do not hide his messages please Thanks for the live. You're very, very welcome, Ward. Very, very welcome. Kelsey, rip. Clayton, don't be so hard on yourself for being human. Where'd that go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Thank you for sharing that. You're very, very welcome, Kelsey. You're very welcome. It's not that I'm hard on myself. It's just, you know. Smurfy71, Grady, how are you? We're doing great. Smurfy, we're doing great. Hannah, hi, Clayton. What is your biggest lake trout at Baker's Narrows Lodge? Me and my family are headed out there this weekend. I hope to catch a great big laker. Any tips? Hannah, my biggest laker at uh, when I was actually staying at Baker's Narrows, I believe is 39 and a half inches. I've caught some bigger fish at Athapapascal, though. Uh, camping on the ice, too, as well. So there's some big fish there big ones so i hope you have a great trip you're going to be in great hands seeing at baker's narrows they'll take great care of you they'll lead you to the right spots they'll tell you about the good areas uh mac is an amazing person like very very amazing person steven tacos good night to you steven send me a message on on uh instagram uh i'd love to get you out of toque for all your donations i really appreciate it have a good night and a wonderful day fishing with carter much love much love to you too we'll have a great day tomorrow we got another Another minute here, and we're going to wrap it up. So Frank's hot sauce on those fish tacos. Heck yeah. CSO versus Justin Jenkins. Hey, one day, you never know. Jenkins, uh, he puts some nice Lakers on the ice. He's got the good advantage there of uh, getting to fish uh, all, all alone there. He's doing it. Why do you call a big fish a toad? I, You know, I don't know. That's a good question. Why do you call a big fish a toad? A toad is like, isn't uh, like a big term in that sense, right? Like. I think it's just it's just a fishing terminology, but it's like a toad. That fish is a toad. I don't know because right, a toad you would think of a frog being like people would say it ugly or something like that, right? In the Disney world, that's a great question. I don't really know. I don't know. I just do open the damn border. I want to come up and fish with you, right? We need to open this border. Toads are fat. There you go. Somebody said toads are fat. 
Aquaview giveaway? Um, right now, no. But here's what I'll tell you. I'm going to put together the biggest ice fishing giveaway you've ever seen next winter at first ice. Delter, auger, Aquaview. The whole, the whole set. On that note, I still do have some exciting giveaways coming this year yet. It won't be on the live chats, but they're going to be on videos. I'm giving away two otter shelters, one to Canada, one to U.S., and an eye on R1 auger. For sure, to maybe one. I'm going to talk to them and see if I can try to give away two, one to Canada, one to U.S. So I do have some awesome giveaways coming up yet this year, not just, not just lure giveaways. Hi, Lucy. How are you? Lucy's sad. I call big fish lunkers. Toads, toads are bigger than frogs. There you go. Yeah. How do you keep your hole from freezing up? Uh, when you're tip up fishing, I just go and I just constantly clear it out, clear it out, clear it out, clear it out. Yeah. But there's going to be a giant giveaway in 2021. I promise. It's going to be big, 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 big. Hog, toad, pig, stud. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Hi, hi, hi. That's awesome. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, the 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 otter shacks are going to be giving away. I'm going to I'm going to give away one in Canada that I have that's still in a box, and then otter is going to ship one away for me in the states. I'm going to be making that video in the next couple of days. So it's something exciting for sure. Okay, guys, 131 minutes. Under 131 minutes. One hour and 31 minutes. So that is 91 minutes. I should know better than that. Goliath grouper story, please. Um, okay, I'll do it. Goliath grouper, Goliath grouper story, and then we're going to end the chat. So if you don't want to hear about the Goliath grouper, you can leave. I apologize. The Goliath grouper, we're down in the Florida Keys. I've been staying there for two months at this time. I had a good friend, Darcy Cox, and Lisa Oaks come, who they just got engaged recently. It was pretty, pretty exciting. And Jay Siemens was down there as well. Darcy and Lisa wanted to do Goliath Grouper. So I had no idea what to really do with that aspect or that point with them. So I asked a friend down there who was a guide, Jeff Beeler from Hunt Nader. Who if, you're ever gonna, if you're ever going to go to the Florida Keys and you're going to guide, look up Jeff Beeler out of Bud and Mary's. But on that note, he told me where to find some grouper. So we went out with Darcy and Lisa and Darcy hooked into a grouper and it was like the coolest thing ever. So fast forward two weeks later, it was me and Jay and my buddy Tyson. It was like, I want to catch a grouper now. I want to try it. Well, I hook into this fish and it's like, it's huge. It's like, and not that Darcy's grouper wasn't big, but it was like another 150 pounds bigger. It was giant. And the whole thing was like, it was actually, it was absolutely epic. The whole moment, like I wish we could have been set up better for recording at that time, getting like, and it's, the video is actually on uncut angling. That if you go there and search Goliath grouper, it's there. The video is like the rods, the, the, the grouper is wrapping himself around the pilings and we're trying to feed this rod around and all this stuff. And finally we get it through and we fight it. And it was like, it was like a, I don't know, 15, 20 minute fight. It wasn't that long, but once it's, it's intense, it's intense, but once you you like beat them up right away it's like then they come to the surface like okay i'm done and it's all because they're coming from deep water this wasn't like seven feet of water i saw the thing like eat and when they eat it's like it's like something just like boom like it's this giant it's i can't explain it and it's when they suck the bait in all this air comes like sucks it in it's crazy we were in an area that had like a two foot sandbar where i could jump in the water with it it was so epic that i could jump in the water with it and hold it and do this video with it and epic pictures if you go google um goliath grouper on on google and go to images it's like one of the first three that comes up it's insane biggest fish i've ever caught most insane moment in terms of like i, I wouldn't say it's the my most favorite fish i've ever caught because it's like the the fight is intense if I could go back, I would do it all again, of course, like in a heartbeat. But once you've caught one that day, you're done. Like you're done, 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 done. Anyways, go watch the video, Uncut Angling, Goliath Grouper, Clayton, and yeah. So I appreciate everybody. 100, I already said it again, 134 minutes, 94 minutes tonight. Thank you so much for the giveaways. I'm starting to get stuffed up from alcohol. I think it's from the fast talking and the alcohol I get. 
a little bit nasally stuffed up. So thank you so much, everybody. We'll do it again soon. Awesome turnout tonight. Love you all. Cheers. Thanks for all the support this winter. It's been unbelievable. Love you all. Cheers. Good night.